Hello YouTubers, today we're going to be learning how to render some nice colorized clouds in Photoshop. I know it sounds simple but um, you can create some nice backgrounds um, for your work. I'd just like to start off by saying that I'm sorry for um, not making any videos in a while. I've been ill and I've been working. I'm into my last unit at college. God, I sound so young. Right. Um, what we're going to be making today is, so, is, one sec, these clouds without all this. It's these clouds, but I've edited these all over. So, you start out with your clouds. And then, what I've done is I've added another layer of clouds so with the opacity on 54. Added my colour. And then added some blue to come off the edges. But we're not going to go that far with it today. What we're going to do is create a new document. Have it on A3 paper. But we're going to have this in the landscape. Because I can't stand working in portrait. So we've got our landscape bit of paper. The first thing we're going to do is make a new layer. And then we're going to make sure that clouds have quite a big area of render difference so we're good to filter um, render clouds so we've got our clouds and then we're going to copy that layer and put this on hard light this brings out the highlights uh, but you want to drop it down to about 50 and now we want to make a new layer and you want to start Make it, put in bright vibrant colours on top of this and make sure this part is on colour the blending mode so if you right click on your canvas and select a big brush a soft break brush so I've got mine set on 2500 pixels with 0% hardness so here I'm going to select a bright vibrant colour and then put it in this top corner I'm just going to go around and do that and oh, I'm going to fast forward this part okay so we're back with a coloured result I'm just going to go ahead and you can play around with everything you can put it into overlay but that didn't really work um, I'm going to keep that on colour, where's colour but turn down the opacity because I want the texture to still be there, but have a nice colour to it. So there we are, that's how you create a simple background for... I don't know, it could be for a poster, or a YouTube background. Be creative with it, as as I did um, at college. And that's not much, but I did that. And with the background, everything stands out. It's nice. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial at any how-to videos. And there's more videos to come. And hopefully I'll get my HD camera working and I can do some more videos.